First of all, my good people, I strongly encourage you not just to read, but to study the bulletin, especially last Sundays and this Sunday. Sometimes we make a mistake of thinking we can pick and choose what we want to believe in our Catholic faith because of the situation we're in and we've got on the one hand the extreme right and on the other hand the extreme left and there seems to be no real governing factor anymore so we sometimes subconsciously make the erroneous decision of picking and choosing and we decide to believe this and not believe the other. And yet, we don't have that freedom of choice. We are either Catholic or we're not. We either believe everything the Catholic Church in the past taught or we don't. And if we don't, we're not Catholic. We have no choice. This morning, after Mass, there will be the baptism of a new baby. A new baby is like the lilies of the field, the birds of the air. It doesn't have to worry about anything. It might let you know when it's hungry, but it doesn't worry about it. It knows it will be fed. Our Lord has many, many times insisted that unless we become as little children, we will not enter the kingdom of heaven. He doesn't mean that literally, of course, but spiritually. Unless we have the same kind of trust that the little baby has, where we throw ourselves completely and trustingly in the arms of God, no matter what goes on around us, no matter how hard we're hit, even if we fall off the cliff, as I've said so many times, we know that our Lord will be down there at the bottom to catch us and put it back on our feet. There is another aspect of the little baby that I wish to touch on. Sometimes we make the mistake of thinking that as soon as a baby is born, we get the baby baptized, and then everything's okay. That's the end of it. No more worries. No. Baptism is not a guarantee of salvation. The duties of a parent are awesome. It is up to the parents to teach, not only by word, but more so by example, to teach their children, to show their children how to love God how to be honest and obedient and meek and humble and patient and so forth. This month of September, even though it's not officially the month of Our Lady, there are a lot of feasts coming up, a couple of them this week. Let us all, especially parents, Go to Our Lady on these special days and ask her to show us how to be a good husband, a good father, a good mother, and a good wife. And let us place our children in her arms 
and ask her to take care of them and to bless them and to guide them and to catch them when they, in their turn, fall off the edge of the cliff and ask her to put them back on their feet and to draw them back on the right path. May God bless us all. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.